wear this cape for the rest of the day. Congratulations! Thank you! Yeah. That's for you! I'll turn this red right as a cape now. Like, oh. Okay, all this, I'm gonna put your cape on. Grateful to be alive and to be able to wake up in the morning to get my babies to school. I actually started out my career as an athletic trainer. And when I noticed that there was a void for students with disabilities in creating environments where they could learn, that's originally where my teaching licensure came from, is from adaptive physical education. So I think that that rehab component, the different ways that students can learn and have the smiles and be encouraged by being active as what works for them. I always wanted to drive a school bus, but I was like, they're not going to hire me with for artificial limb. And so and I, somebody told me, so just go try. And I went and I tried it, and I loved it. And they, put, they told me, you know, that I would be working with the children with special, with special needs. And they're my pride and joy. For 37 years, they're my pride and joy. My job is, uh, is first and foremost, security at the school. Uh, when it comes to uh, addressing a physical threat. Um, the secondary side is to um, make an impact with these young people um, and hopefully a lasting impact that will, uh, in, in all honesty, leave a positive experience uh, with them. When students are learning and the light bulb comes on, that's really why I'm a teacher and I challenge myself to create an environment where those light bulbs happen more often than not. I just love what I'm doing. And I think it ain't enough money in the world that they could give me that could take this away from me. If I can put a smile on somebody's face that's not having a good day or, or just take a minute and you know say hi to them and you know brighten their day, uh, that's what really makes me happy. So that's what keeps me going. I have discovered even though this is my second career, it's important from a personal and professional standpoint to look for things to continually grow, to continually improve, to continually learn on what's available and what's out there and how things are changing or not changing and be able to adjust. And that I think that helps with the engagement from a professional standpoint. Sure, what keeps me here is, um, to be honest with you, the ability to have an impact uh, in somebody's life. One thing that I admire is one little boy that I take is Timmy. And it was so amazing. And when I saw the dad, I'm like, oh my goodness. And he is like, he is so thrilled that I'm carrying his son to school now. Cause I used to take him when he was going up to Norwich. And when he saw me, he like, Miss Murray. And I'm looking at the child like, I know him from somewhere. So he said, you used to take me. He said, now you're taking my son. And I'm like, Oh my God, I'm that young. <laughs> I mean, I've had students come in here. I'm not a math teacher, but I've helped them with math. You know, I've had them come in here and ask for other things. Um, you know, and to be honest with you, I'm kind of like the candy supplier. So like, you know, I mean, I have kids come in all the time. I got some, uh, you know, no lie. I got a supply of candy, you know, so, you know, but it, it makes them happy. And uh, if that's what I got to do to uh, to make them happy, and uh, you know, that's what it's all about. You know, uh, working with these kids, and uh, and and letting them know I'm here for them uh, through the through the best of times and through the worst of times. I want them to know at the end of the day, somebody's here and somebody really does care about them. My energy comes from my own lifestyle choices, my faith background, and then learning myself from students and how I need to adjust. I just love taking care of people. I love people so much. And regardless of their age, their color, big, small, short, tall, I just love people. Um, I hope that what people take away from this is just be kind. Um, you know, look out for each other, you know. Um, we all are going through different things in life and it's important that we just I don't know, look out for somebody and, and take the time to, to stop and say, hey, are you okay? Do, it, do a buddy check-in as we call it. Just make sure that everybody's good. And at the end of the day, that's what it's about, is just looking out for each other.